the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> and this is the point. This is the point. This is why I've made this. I've made this series because because that idea has to get out there. That we got to stop being so complacent about how we look at our past. And for the very same reason, we need to stop being so complacent about how we look at our future as well. We live in a hazardous cosmic environment. It just happens that we live at a time in the human story where if we chose to do so, we could actually do something about it. What, ma what motivated you to get involved in this? Like, I know Fingerprints of the Gods you released in the 90s. It was Ni 90... 1995. That's when I, I first read it yeah. and I became obsessed. What, what motivated you to put that out? It was a process, really. Um, I, I used to be a current affairs journalist. I, I was the East Africa correspondent for The Economist. I had no interest in, in history whatsoever. But I began to come across things, particularly traveling initially in Ethiopia and then in Egypt, which made me wonder about the past. And, you know, standing in front of the Great Pyramid of Egypt is, is an awe-inspiring experience, especially when you've never seen it before. And in 1989, when I first saw it, I had never seen it before. Six million tons, 481 foot high, 13-acre footprint, this massive thing. And archaeologists are saying, it's just the tomb of a pharaoh, and yet no pharaoh's body was ever found inside it, or indeed inside any ancient Egyptian pyramid. There had to be another explanation. And I started to, I've always been a contrarian. I, I, I've always tried to give an opposite point of view. I hate it when there's just a single narrative that says this is the truth and there is no other truth. And so I, I, I felt it was important to start giving an alternative point of view, and I started to look into it in depth. Could there be something missing from the story of our past? And that's, that's why I ended up writing Fingerprints of the Gods, to, to put that information before the public, to allow people access to information that they had not had access to before, and to begin to think for themselves instead of just accepting the word of the so-called experts. The experts know a great deal. I couldn't do anything I do without, uh, without the work that archaeologists do, but they shouldn't be given a monopoly over the story of the human past. Our past belongs to us. It belongs to all of us. And everybody, whether they're an academic or whether they're a man in the street, they've got something to contribute to the idea of our past.